welcome to Yoga Flow on the Rebounder. We're going to have a great flow today. What I'd like you to do is sit on your rebounder comfortably, whatever is comfortable for you. And we're just going to close our eyes, <clears throat> relax, and set an intention here for this flow. So today is about our third chakra, which is our solar plexus. It's located right above the navel. And it's about confidence, about trusting yourself, about being aware, believing in yourself, and strength. So I invite you to close your eyes, take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Imagine a beautiful glowing yellow light above your head. It's shining down onto you. It's giving you energy. Every cell in your body is receiving this beautiful glowing yellow light. Feel it. Feel it in your heart. Feel it in your cells. Feel everything glowing with this yellow light. Feel the confidence, the self-love, the trust in your body. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Think about your life and where you might bring more strength, more confidence, more energy into those areas. You are powerful. You are strong. You are amazing. One more deep breath, inhale, exhale, and gently open your eyes. That was fabulous. We're going to start moving to the front of the rebounder, putting your feet on the floor, really grounding those feet to the floor. Now that we're seated in front of our rebounder, we're going to take a nice inhale, reaching up, exhale, one more deep inhale, drop one arm down to the side. We're going to do a nice side bend, leaning over, bending that elbow, looking up, stretching those obliques. Breathing. <sighs> On your next exhale, come back up to center and let's switch over to the other side, bending that elbow, reaching, feeling that beautiful stretch, looking up and breathing. Breathing is so important. One more here, exhale, on your way up. Great, now we're gonna come up and we're going to go onto the rebounder. We're gonna kind of go into a tabletop position and we're going to do dancing lion. This is really great for warming up the hips. So what we're gonna do is shift our weight to one side, make a beautiful circle and come forward. So you're making a nice big circle. We're gonna do 10. Here we go. One. And breathing all the way around. Two. Three. Four. Really circulate those hips. 
five, we keep a lot of tension in our hips. Six, seven, they hold a lot of emotion. Eight, nine, and 10. And now we're gonna take it in the other direction. One, two, three, four, five, nice, six, feel your body, feel the beautiful movement, seven, eight, nine, and one more is 10. Come to a tabletop on your rebounder. We're going to do cat-cow. So take a nice inhale, then exhale, push that back up like you're arching your back like a cat, pushing through your palms. Inhale, drop the belly down, eye gazes up and forward, and then exhale. <sighs> Inhale, so great for the spine. <sighs> Massaging the organs, really pushing through. You're doing a great job. A couple more here. And exhale. <sighs> Deep inhale. Exhale. And inhale. And then come back to a flat back. We're gonna take it into bird dog. Extend one leg back, find your balance. Maybe you need to shift your arms. We're gonna reach that front arm forward and just hold it here. Pushing down, pushing through your hand, pushing through that leg that's on the rebounder. Right, finding your balance. Now we're going to shift. The hand is going to go out to the side and the foot is gonna come out to the side, finding balance again, right? And bring it back and bring everything down. Now we're gonna switch it to the other leg, extend it back, reach that arm forward. We're reaching forward, we're pushing back. We're shifting our weight. Now we're both going to both <laughs> reach the leg and the arm. You're strong, you're centered, you're balanced. Bring it back to center and hands and foot back down. That was great. Now let's do a nice child's pose here. Just find what feels good. Take a deep breath. All right, now we are going to come off the rebounder and to the side. Let's get on the rebounder. And we're just going to start bouncing. Feet are on the rebounder, just bounce, bounce. And at the same time, we're going to start just moving our hands back and forth, getting a little twisting motion going, All right? Maybe a little spinal rotation, just feels good, getting everything moving, twisting. Boom. All right, now we're gonna take it and we're gonna crouch down a little and we're just going to bounce here. Great for the lower body. Just stay in this closed chain, low bounce. Really, really good. Keep it going. You guys are doing fabulous. All right, 10 more seconds here. And come on up. Okay, step your feet wide. We're gonna take a nice inhale. Exhale, we're gonna go into a forward fold, nice and slow. Hands land on the front of the rebounder. Let your head hang down. 
Shake your head. No. No, sometimes we just have to say no to things. Sometimes we say yes, but they should feel good in our heart, in our soul. Now, grab onto that rebounder really tight. We're gonna lean to one side, lean to the other. Back and forth, feeling a little inner thigh stretch. Feels so good. All right, come back to center. Point your toes a little bit outward and lower your hips down. Now just do what your body's comfortable with. We're going to go into a yogi squat. Ooh, really great for the pelvic floor. Just sitting here, maybe you're still up in the forward fold, respect your body wherever it is. And maybe we rock side to side. See how that feels. All right. Nice deep breath here in the center. And exhale. We're going to push, lean forward. We're going to go back. Toes are now forward. We're going to go into a forward fold, kind of a combination of a forward fold and a downward dog. We're sending our hips backwards. We're holding on really tight to the rebounder, getting a nice stretch in those hamstrings. And inhale and exhale. And just let your body relax. Nice. Inhale and exhale. Now bring your hands to your knees, bring your hands to your hips, slowly round up vertebrae by vertebrae. Woo, shaky, come on up. Very nice, move your feet together. We're gonna take a nice inhale and exhale. One more deep inhale. Reaching, looking up, bringing our palms together, exhaling and lowering those hands down to heart center. Beautiful. Now that we're off the rebounder, we're gonna bring our left foot forward, right foot is going back, gently lower down. You can use one hand on the rebounder for support or you can raise both hands up in the air. We're going to go into crescent lunge. Take a nice deep breath here. Our eye gaze is up. Notice how your body's feeling. Are you feeling strong? Are you feeling confident? What are you feeling here? One more deep breath. We're going to take that back foot, drop it down so it's pointing out. Come into warrior two. And now we're gonna pump our warrior. Arms are going up, front leg is straightening. Exhale, inhale. Exhale back down, that's it. Nice inhale and exhale. One more here. Looking good, looking good. Now we're going to straighten that front leg and we're going to start leaning our front arm forward, forward, forward and at the same time bending down, going into triangle pose, letting that arm come down. We don't want to dump into our body. We want to open up, look at the ceiling, find your hands, find your fingers, open wide, shine your heart forward, feel your strength here. Breathe. Notice and feel. When you're ready, bend that front knee. Come back up into warrior two. 
Nice. Now we're going to flip the palm forward, reach back, and get a nice stretch here in our obliques. Reverse warrior. Breathing, feeling, being with yourself and your body. And when you're ready, exhale, come back into warrior. Bring your arm forward, step forward with your foot. Very nice. Let's take a nice inhale here. Exhale. One more inhale. And then bring your hands down to heart center. Great job. We're going to step back up on that rebounder, going back into our health bounce. Okay, bounce, bounce, bounce. It's all about the bounce. Today we're doing a nice little flow about the solar plexus, about this area of our body which holds our strength, our confidence, our superpowers. Try to tap into that. Notice how you're holding your body throughout the rest of the day. Are you slouched over or you're standing up tall, right? Tall, we wanna be tall, long, confident, strong, empowered. And by doing that, you are going to empower other people. It's amazing. Okay, so now we're gonna take our feet a little bit off the rebounder. Start jumping. We're going to open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Good. Just here, open, close. Maybe our hands are here. You could bring your hands since we're doing yoga. We could bring them to the center of our body, right? But I really like them to flow. Okay, good. A couple more here. Now we're going to add in our arms back and forth, back and forth. So our feet are more together, and we're just going up, down, up, down, up, down. Good. A few more here. Now we're going to take those arms out straight. We're going to bring them back and forward, back and forward. So this is like if we were doing um, chaturanga. Right? Or a push-up. Cobra. This is the arm movement. Nice. All right, a couple more here. I'm going to come back to the center. We're going to slow it down. And now we're going to go to the other side of the rebounder and come off. All right, we're on the other side. We're going to step our right foot forward left foot back, lower down, hand on the rebounder if you need it for support. We're moving our hands up above our head, reaching, extending, eye gazes up, looking, feeling, where in your body are you feeling strong? We're going to exhale. Bring the arms back down. Drop that left foot out. Arms go forward into warrior two. Bending the right knee forward. This is a strong, confident pose. You are awesome. You are a warrior goddess. Let's do it. We're going to pump the warrior. Arms flip up. In. And exhale out. In. Exhale. Three. Four. Last one here is five. Really let it breathe out. 
exhale. Nice. Take that front knee, straighten it. Start shifting your weight forward, forward, forward. Gently twisting, letting your arm come down. Nice triangle pose. Think like you're squeezing in between two buildings. This narrow space, that's how you want your body. Nice and narrow here. Nice. Couple breaths here. And on your next exhale, come back up to standing. We're going to reverse the warrior. Right, left arm on the back of your thigh. Right arm comes up, leaning back. Thankful, thankful for what we have, what we have in our life, the people in our life, and how we support each other. A couple more breaths here. Feel that pose. And on your next exhale, come back, step your back foot forward. Big inhale, exhale, one more, really, let me hear you, inhale, and exhale your hands back down to heart center, fabulous. We're going back onto the rebounder, we're going to be sitting. We're gonna sit sideways, and now we're going to practice Putting our hands on the side of the rebounder, lifting our feet up, and just leaning back, being here. Feel the strength, the strength in your core, the strength in your body. It's more powerful sometimes, I think, than we give it credit for. And release that. Really, really good. All right, this time we're going to lean back. Pick both feet up, drop one foot down, the other foot down. So let's alternate here. Couple more here. One, two, two more. One and two. And drop them down, come back up. Really, really good. I'm gonna twist so I can see you guys a little bit. Okay, now we are going you know what we're doing? We're working on boat pose. Boat. Think of a boat, how strong it is. It goes through the ocean, over those waves. It has to be powerful. So you are powerful to do this pose. So we're going to lean, lean back again, lift those feet up. Maybe you take one arm out. Maybe you take the other. And breathe. Really feel that pose. You need to put your hands down, put your hands down. And release. Really, really good job. Okay, next one we're gonna go into full boat pose. Leaning back again, lifting those feet up, bringing one arm out, the other arm out, and extending those legs, lifting the chest, lifting the feet. Use your strength. Use your power. You've got this. You've got it. Breathe. Breathe. And when you're ready, let it go. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome job. All right. That was our boat pose. Now we're going to come back to the front of the rebounder. We're going to work on just a seated cat-cow. We did a tabletop cat-cow before. So what that looks like, we're gonna round our spine, holding on to the rebounder, and then exhaling. Up, inhaling back in, rounding the spine, chin to chest, exhale. 
You work so hard. One more here. And exhale. Nice job. Come to the rebounder. Lie down. Find a comfortable spot. I've got my microphone here, so I'm going to move it. <laughs> and then we're going to extend your arms up. Drop your hips down. And then shift your arms to the other side. A beautiful spinal twist. Feel so good. Feel so good. And when you're ready, inhale and exhale over to the other side, stretching out that body. Feeling your muscles elongating and stretching. And then when you're ready, inhale, exhale to center. Nice. Now we're going to take the soles of our feet Place them together and let our knees drop out to the side. Really opening up those hips. Feel so good. And breathe here. Nice. All right, let's close. Bring the knees back together. Our feet are coming up into the air, flexing, pointing, flexing, pointing. Good. Gently bring your feet down. Come back to the front of the rebounder. And we're going to slide backwards and go into a nice forward fold. So we're reaching, reaching forward, shifting our hips back. Our back is staying straight. And our eye gaze is forward, just seeing where the body's going to take you today. Okay, it's a nice forward fold. Be here. With each breath, maybe you can go a little bit deeper. And then now exhale and come back up to center. Let's cross those legs, get into a nice seated position where you're comfortable. Gently close your eyes. Deep breath in, exhale out. When you shine your confidence, when you bring it with you everywhere you go, you are radiating. You're showing the world your beauty. And by doing that, you're allowing others to radiate and shine their confidence and their beauty. We affect everybody and the energy around us. Know that when you go out into the world, what you're showing people, how you're feeling, what you're projecting, bring that yellow ball of energy with you everywhere you go. Because the more you shine, the more you give people the permission and the ability to shine their light too. It's such a beautiful gift. Let's take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Bring your hands to heart center. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you so much for joining me today for this rebounding yoga flow. It was my pleasure. Namaste. I will see you in the next video. Have a powerful, amazing day.